finally YouTube. Um, so yeah, basically I just wanted to jump on, um, get ready for my day because look at me, I literally just rolled out of bed. I um, talk a bit of crap, um, share my coming out story, which is something, um, which isn't a really exciting story, but it's still something that's a bit fun and a bit um, inspiring for those closeted gays out there. Got some vitamin D. I used juice vitamin D. I don't know anything about the vitamins, but whatever. Who needs them? <laughs> Not me. So yeah, the first, my first question for today. I'm not going to be saying who they're from because some of them, um, oh. yeah, I'm just not going to. Simple as fuck as that. Um, by the way, I'm not claiming to know how to do makeup. I just know what looks good on me and I'm going for it. Um, so don't come for me, bitches. If you could change one thing in your life, what would it be? Uh, I should have thought about these questions before um, I started, shouldn't I? Um, one thing, if I, could, if I could change one thing in my life, what would it be? It would be probably be to have all my family and stuff closer together. We're also spread out. Like I've got um, family in Tasmania. Family in Tasmania. I live in Cronulla. Um, my mum and sisters live in Newcastle, which is like, I don't even know, like three and a half or four hours. I actually don't even know. I've never been from here. Um, and then my cousin, some, like one lives in the city, some live out west. Um, everyone's just kind of everywhere. So it's a bit, I just wish everyone was a bit closer. But um, yeah, that's one thing I'd change at the moment. Uh, I hope that answers the question. Um, I hope it's not one thing I changed about my past. <laughs> um, by the way, I am filming this, editing it, and uploading it on my iPhone, so do not expect top quality because you're never gonna get quality from this bitch. <laughs> Read this one, everyone in that workplace will know exactly who wrote it. <laughs> um, who was your least favorite employee at Milky Lane. <laughs> I don't think I had a least favourite employee. I think um, it was very clear that I d had disagreements with certain employees and um, some of us didn't always get along because um, we didn't always agree. Um, the most like obvious answer would be the fact that me and Lizzie clashed on a work level but never really as... Oh, why do I care making all that noise? Um, Never clash as like friends, like we always really got along when it came to our personal lives and what not. Um, but sometimes we did clash when it came to the business. Uh, when I first started there though, which is so funny because now she's like one of my really good friends. As an employee, I loved her, like Shayla. Loved Shayla. Then when I got to know her, she'd done my editing so much as an employee because she was always hungover at work, always. <laughs> <laughs> Rocking up to work, smashed, always leaving work, trying to go get smashed, like, party bubs. But, um, this is actually hers. Yeah, she's amazing. What am I doing? Um, she's amazing. Love her. She's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, them two are the only ones I think I really had, like, an ever an issue with. Um, but in saying that, both of them are now really good friends of mine. Um, get along with them both really well. Have no issues now that I don't work there. <laughs> um, so... And he's, pro he's probably sitting at home laughing right now too because he's a cheeky little fucker. Oh, um, my next one is on the same topic. Who was my favourite employee at Milky Lane? Um, I think it was very obvious. Um, bartender Ben became such an incredible um, person. It helped me so much with a lot of things when I took over the venue. Um, but yeah, um, bit of a dick, bit of a clown. Um, hilarious. Everyone needs him in their life. Um, yeah, that's the, the tea on that. Um, if you, <laughs> such a clown. If you had to marry a straight girl, who would it be? Choose carefully. <laughs> um, everyone who knows her would know exactly who wrote that as well. And she wants me to say her, but I feel like I don't want to say her just because it's her. <laughs> Bloody Keown. Um, I don't know if I would marry Keown. She's too much of a fucking... She can't sit still. 
I think if I had to marry, uh, I don't know, I, don't, I never want to marry a straight girl. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna say Kim just because it's the most obvious answer that everyone's expecting. But yeah, don't think I'm marrying you because your wife material. So that's not the case. It's fucking on here. Oh wait, it's not even hot, I'm just hot. <laughs> yeah. What moment? <coughs> What moment in your life have you been most proud of yourself? Um, the fact that um, I came home from Melbourne at the end of 2017 and wanted to come home, get my own place, um, fall into a bit more of a stable job than um, being in the entertainment industry. Um, I quit dancing and I did... Um, Ooh, kind of like slowed the fuck down a bit and just like chilled out. And the fact that I came home for all these reasons um, and to achieve all these things and I've achieved them all since. So I'm now living in the middle of Cronulla. I have my own place Ooh, dead in the center, um, right next to the beach. The beach is behind me. So the fact that I was able to do that and um, be like I left Melbourne for a lot of reasons and to be in a position now where I've achieved all the reasons for leaving makes me pretty happy um I've been in a bit of a mindset lately of like what's next like what do I do next um I do really want to go back to the performing arts industry but like um but I just um I'd love to go back to the performing arts industry and I've actually been running into a lot of friends from that industry lately um catching up with them chatting chilling it's kind of inspiring me to go back um and do a few things, have a bit of fun. Um, it's just my main reason for um, not wanting to is the stability. Is I never enjoyed being a dance teacher. I never um, doing all those kind of things that they do um, in the industry. I enjoyed freelance work and um, like creating clown shows and stuff. So. But that's not like, I was never in a position where I was able to like do that as a full time thing. So obviously I needed a bit more stability. Um, so yeah, now that I have that, it's like, should I take on a bit um, more sh in the entertainment industry? Should I not? Like, I don't know. There is no entertainment industry at the moment, but there's also no hospitality industry. So who actually knows what's next? Um, my forehead's so steady, so this just isn't doing anything. Just go in. Did I answer the question? I think so. Okay, I'm off topic. Whatever. Would you ever? Is that so weird? Would you ever get plastic surgery, and what would it be? Um, I don't know if, like, getting like the uh, cheeks done, um, lips done, and like hair done. Like, for those there things I've always wanted to be done. Um, I don't know if that's really surgery or if that's just filler or if that counts, but there are things that I want to get done. If I had to like narrow it down to an actual surgery, I don't know. If there's some like surgery where you can like instantly have a good body, well then I would do that. <laughs> so I don't like working out. I actually can't do push ups either, so they're just really fucking hard. It hurts my shit like here. It's about just about in one arm. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing a muscle or something. I don't know how that works. I don't know how the body works. Um, I feel like I look no different to when I started. If you ha Oh, how old were you when you knew you were gay? <laughs> so this is such a weird question to answer and I'm sure every gay guy thinks the same thing. It's just a bit awkward to answer. I don't know why my chest looks so white. Oh. Um, I feel like I knew I was gay for a very long time at such a young age. Um, it's really hard to explain because like you go through a bit of a phase where like you're like, oh yeah, yeah I love girls, but like it's like, do I love girls or do I just love being a girl? Um, um, and then, so I came out when I was 15 um, with a boy, told my mum oh, on her birthday. Um, so I was at like, dancing, um, with some friends and like they found out that I was seeing a guy and they actually all laughed about it in front of the whole entire studio. It was really awkward. Um, it was really awkward. Um, really upset, I actually ran out crying. Um, 
And now they're still my friends, actually, surprisingly. Fucking creatures. What happened? Oh, I messaged my mum to tell her, like, because, like, obviously people were finding out because the girls at dance were new. And I was like, oh, I better, like, tell my mum before she finds out through someone else. So I messaged her to tell her, and she didn't reply, but she read it. So she called me later in the night and was like, can you stop off on the way home and grab Coke, like, Coca-Cola and cigarettes because it was her birthday and they were having a bit of a um, barbecue at home. So I was like, yeah, sure, that's fine. I was 15. I wasn't buying the cigarettes. My friend was. Um, we... I asked her, I was like, did you get my message? And she was like, oh yeah, I thought it was a joke. <laughs> I was like, bitch, what? <laughs> a joke. Ugh. You think my baby, your faggot is a joke? Um, well, it's not. Uh, she said we'd talk about it later, so. <laughs> Me and my friend Jade went home to my house. And my mum and a few people were there drinking, blah, 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 having fun. My mum, I don't know why I just keep putting powder on. Um, my mum then said, we sat down, my mum was a bit tipsy, I was trying to get to that level real quick, <laughs> um, so yeah, she, she basically just asked me if I was, and I said yes, <laughs> then I slowly became the biggest homo ever, um, yeah, um, I started, started seeing that first guy, let's just call him Bob, no, not Bob, ew. Call him James. Yeah, I was seeing him for a while. Uh, ooh, everything looks good in the mirror, but on the camera, I look like I'm dying. Um, so yeah, and then um, I was seeing him for oh, two years, I think it was. I don't really remember. Um, we were together for like roughly two years. Um, that was like the worst breakup in the world because I thought I was dying, but really, it was just because it was that like first love kind of thing. Um, and I started seeing this other guy I don't even know how long after. Um, we met at the Easter show and whatnot. Bit of fun, bit of shits and gigs, whatever. Um, we broke up, I think, like a year and a half later. This is like four years ago, I don't even know. I'm friends with my first boyfriend again. Um, he is really fucking cool, I really do like him. Um, my first boyfriend, not the second, don't get that mistaken. Um, I just chat to him a bit. He's, um, it was cool to just become friends again with someone who was. Kind of like a big part of your life, like a chapter, like coming out, blah blah blah, whatever. Um, so yeah, and then I ended up, the whole world ended up finding out that I was gay. Um, I just went like this, to the end and then to the start. Um, the whole world ended up finding out I was gay, so then um, it was really, really cute actually. I got a lot of beautiful messages, a lot of support. I've had a lot of support over these. I've never really been um, put down for being who I am, so I'm really glad that I never like experienced that kind of like bullying or anything or like that. Um, What's that word? Uh, unacceptable? Mm. Yeah, that's kind of like my coming out story. It's really not that exciting. Yeah, no, I've just been all over the place since, like, as in, like, oh, fuck. Not all over the place, like, as in, like, around the world. No, as in, like, being a hoe. That's what I meant. I'm not, no, I'm not being a hoe, is what I'm trying to say. Not all over the place in being a hoe, as in, like, I've been all over the place. Like, I've moved a few places, moved, done a few things, um, um, until this last year. Um, where I've really settled down. Got a place in Cronulla, um, chilling here, love it here so much. Um, I'm right in the centre, where I belong. This isn't even how I do my makeup every day, I don't even know why I did it. I don't even look like I've got any makeup on, I still look like I'm dying because I'm a sweaty pig. Yeah, I just thought I'd spill a bit of tea there, talk a bit of shit for a while. Um, have a bit of fun with everyone. Um, put some positivity in everyone's lives because it's a bit fucked up right now. Um, everyone's kind of going through um, their own emotions, their own roller coasters and whatnot. Um, but shed some light, talk a bit of shit, have a bit of fun, have a drink. But yeah, I think that's it. I would do my makeup properly, but I just keep sweating, so I'm not going to bother. If you want to look at how I actually do my makeup, check out my Instagram, because my photos look much better than this. But it was fun to have a little chat, spill a bit of tea. I've got more questions, but I figured let's talk about them another time. Uh, best of luck in the world, guys. I was also going to say... How weird is it that we're in a world where it's like, we're getting to a place where it's almost like, not okay to be gay. I'm not gonna like, make people feel like their feelings aren't validated if they're confused or whatever. Um, but it's pretty cool how we're in a world where like, it's so okay to come out of the closet now. You've got so much support and so much love around you. Um, 
kind of going through that confusing phase, um, going through that scary phase where you don't want to really admit it to yourself, but I can promise you now, once you have, it's fucking amazing. Keep on being gay, keep on having fun, keep on smiling and sharing the love.